learning to read water is one of the most important skills in whitewater kayaking. Not only for determining where you want to go in a rapid, but also for building your confidence and reducing your dependence on others. When you first start kayaking, it's normal to follow others through rapids while you develop your river reading skills. It's important to not rely on others too heavily for too long. Get out there in front and practice your skills. That's the only way you're going to get better. It may be scary to get out in front and start reading the water for yourself. There will be times when the line you choose won't be ideal and you may end up stuck on a rock or flipping over. That's okay. It's part of learning. If you let the fear of messing up hold you back, then you'll never learn. The dependence on others that you create by following actually creates more fear and insecurity in the long run because as soon as someone isn't there to guide you, you'll feel lost. On the other hand, if you push yourself to get out in front and learn to read water, you may mess up a few times, but those instances are learning opportunities that will hone your skills so that the next time you venture out, you'll be more aware. Kayaking teaches us how to adapt and respond to what's going on. If plan A doesn't work out, you always have plan B. As women, we tend to be hard on ourselves when we mess up. Messing up is part of the game. Instead of viewing it as a failure, you can view it as a platform from which to improve. If you go out one day and end up where you don't want to go, then it just means that the next day you'll know exactly where you want to go. Let's go over some river features, what they look like, and how they act. The downstream V indicates the most obstacle-free entrance and path through a rapid. It literally looks like the letter V. Depending on the riverbed and currents, the V may be very well defined or loosely defined. The inside of the V is made of darker water that is also called green water. Moving water that is smooth and dark is also deep and obstacle free. The white water that forms the edges of the V is usually shallow. I'm a woman